Hello and welcome to the Capital Sports Roundup podcast for the city Dublin.ie. My name is Gavin Dalton and this week I was joined by League of Ireland stalwart Conan Byrne. Conan spoke to me about the great initiative he has in place called It's Good to Talk LOI, which sees current and past League of Ireland players, along with coaches, reaching out to people during the lockdown who might be in need of a chat, offering phone calls to people to help them through what are unprecedented times. So I'm delighted to be joined by League of Ireland legend Conan Byrne. Conan, thanks for coming on and speaking to the City Dublin. Yeah, no problem at all, Gavin. Uh, look forward to the chat. It's been a busy couple of weeks for League of Ireland fans and a big weekend to come still. Yeah, big weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what way to call it. So I was at Total Track the other night and um, yeah, they didn't look great, now I have to say. And I was at, obviously, the UC, UCD Bowl last Friday and um, to see Longford play Galway and Longford were very well organised. Um, and they're going to be very, very hard to break down. But I've always said that there is a bit of a gap, I feel, between the Premier Division and the First Division. And um, I do think Shelburne will prevail. Yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully so. Um, it's, bus- it's been a, an extra busy couple of weeks for you in particular. You kick-started a bit of an initiative back in October involving current League of Ireland players and past League of Ireland players and coaches to help out with people who are maybe struggling or needing a chat during the lockdown during what are tough times for everyone would you like to give me a bit of a background on this yeah like it, it just kind of blew up after i was just watching clairborn live on the mrte and um david brady the former mayo footballer had during the last lockdown um got in contact with a couple of elderly gentlemen from the local county of mayo from his local county of mayo and um just started ringing them every friday ringing them every friday night just for a catch up to talk about his career, talk about their lives. And um, yeah, it was a really inspiring story. And um, I just said, well, why can't we get involved as a, as a league and um, get the players to contact maybe pl- uh, fans of clubs that are isolated? And I, first of all, I thought it was going to be just the elderly, the people that are isolating. That was the initial thought, but quickly it turned into um, young people maybe suffering from mental health um, that just wanted to pick me up. And um, yeah, so I just basically, I put a call, I put a text out to all my football contacts on the phone and it spiraled from there. Like I got calls and texts from people that I never knew on Twitter and but not that I never knew, but I never played with them or, or had dealings with them before. And it turned into like I'd over 200 names to, to call on that, that, uh, that were happy to, to make that call to somebody. And um, yeah, it was, it was truly heartwarming to see some of those interactions. Yeah. And uh, hashtag, it's good to talk LOI. It began trending on Twitter. Were you expecting such a such a response? No, no. And actually, it was somebody, a, a fan of at St. Pat's actually told me to, to use a hashtag to talk to, to put it out there for people. And I never even thought of it. I'm not the most tech person in the world. So um, I just decided just to put in, um, it's good to talk LOI. And yeah, it started trending one of the days. And that's the thing. I put. I started putting up a few threads of some of the interactions that took place because I thought it was important to to highlight the, um, the 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 fantastic work that the players and ex players and coaches and journalists and all that were doing for the initiative, but also to to show people that um, it's okay to pick up the phone and ma- uh, make that make the call to, to myself to get in touch with the to get in touch with a footballer because sometimes it. A lot of people can, can shy away from that aspect of it, of, of making that initial contact with me. Um, and the threads definitely helped because any time I put a thread up, it seemed to uh, to just spiral from there, you know. So um, that's why I put them up. And you might have noticed that I haven't put one up in a while. And um, it's just trying to catch up on, on, on everything, you know. So it's been really busy, but good. Yeah, yeah. And you had some uh, some big names get involved. I seen the other night, Jack Byrne, even outside of his on field exploits, he even got involved with this. So that must have been nice. Yeah, it was like it, like some players were were getting involved in this on the back of or before big games. So obviously, like Jack Byrne has, has got involved. Patrick uh, Paddy McCourt, obviously from from Derry and former Northern Ireland international, who's current, who's who's doing really really well at the moment with Derry. Um, but we had like it's from all corners of, of, of Ireland. It's been really terrific, and um, as I said, there's been um, form like former players. I, I had one call from um, from somebody looking for for a Rovers player that played in the seventies and eighties, and um, like a, 
Alan O'Neill, the, the, the wonderful goalkeeper, but obviously a wonderful a wonderful man as well. He was delighted to get in touch. He contacted me through Twitter actually to to get involved in the initiative anyway. And then um, so when I put it to him, he said he'd be delighted to 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 get on board. And then as you as you saw on some of the threads, um, Dundalk before the game against Arsenal, a couple of players contacted um people before the big game, and even Tony O'Donoghue got involved. And yeah, it's just been it's been surreal and I just can't thank the players enough for getting involved in this and because they've been um, they've been absolutely unbelievable uh, some, I had to go back to two or two, like captains of teams who are who have helped me get, get other numbers of players that have uh, have been requested you know and um, not one person has said no and it's just been uh, I've tried to accommodate everybody with who they wanted to talk to Um but sometimes it's just yeah, it's just a case of getting a player from the club, and um, the clubs and the players have been terrific. Yeah, no, it really has. It's been a, a real kind of heartwarming story during what are tough times. Just for any listeners who are who might be interested in getting involved or know someone who might be looking to get involved, could you talk me through how the the process of getting getting talking to someone? Yeah, well, basically the process is that you uh, you contact me via Twitter, and it's the only social media I'm on, so my my Twitter handle is Conan Burns CB7. Um, my DMs are open and um, just send me a message, give me a brief introduction to the person that you want to contact it, um, the favorite team, and um, a bit of background information on them, whether they're young, old, uh, why do they need that little bit of a lift, maybe. Um, just so I can give, it's not for any other reason but to allow the person that's contacting to have a bit of a conversation starter with them and to um so i think that's important as well so it's it's not a kind of tumbleweed phone call at the very start you know um so i think that's important and then um, they i get in touch them with the player and uh, send them on into the information and they make the call within hopefully within a couple of hours but whether it's a day or two brilliant that's great Colin. i must i must commend you it's been a great a great initiative and it's still ongoing so best of luck with the rest of it and thanks a million for coming on and speaking to the city of dublin no problem at all, Gavin. thank you cheers thanks a lot